battle of the Twitter clients for Windows. So I'm going to try to make this video under 10 minutes. But basically the Twitter clients that we're going to be bat battling are the four of some of the best Twitter clients for, um, so there is Spaz. That's what the notification for Spaz is. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you all the features, most of the features of each one of them, and then tell you which one you should get based on what you need. There's Witty's, what its notification looks like. Hopefully I'll show you, be able to show you each one of their notifications. Okay, so Twirl, Witty, Spaz, and TweetDeck. And these are all using their default themes except for Twirl and Witty. So Spaz and TweetDeck are, it doesn't matter. But, um, Twirl is probably one of <clears throat> the most customizable as far as customization, like appearance. Witty is probably the least because. There's only three themes. Spaz has like five themes. And then TweetDeck, you can change the colors. So, I would say TweetDeck and Twirl are tied for appearance, actually. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the features of TweetDeck. So let me drag this out because TweetDeck is the one that's supposed to be big like this. Okay, so with TweetDeck, you can um, add Facebook. I don't know where the Facebook thing went. Okay, there it is. So, Facebook status updates. I don't have that enabled right now. But, um, so here it is. It's big. You can make it small. Some people don't like it because it's so big. But you can make it single column view. There's two pro things I don't like about it, um, that's just me, but the first thing is that when I, I hit X, it closes, unlike some other Twitter clients, or when I hit minimize, it actually minimizes to the taskbar, unlike Spaz, Twirl, and Witty, they all have an icon. Except for Witty only shows its icon when it's minimized, so let me minimize Witty, and as you can see, it pops up right there. And I double click it, and it comes back up. And TweetDeck doesn't do this, and it doesn't have this feature. So that means you can't have it start up on, start up on your computer, and yeah, so I'm just going to go into settings. And as you can see, it makes everything fade out. And then, so there are a whole boatload of features in this. So, if you're, if you want every little piece of Twitter that you can get, then I'd say TweetDeck is for you. Because here's where you change the colors. Every little thing can change. And here's one good thing about it too: you can have multiple accounts. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna hit cancel, and so that is TweetDeck. So I would rate TweetDeck, um, I'd say eight, um, out of ten, eight out of ten, or maybe, yeah, eight out of ten. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna do Spaz. So. None of these other Twitter clients have as many features as TweetDeck, but Spaz is, as you can see, really simple. Um, if you hit Spaz, you can shorten the URL, upload an image, and do a bunch of extra stuff in it. A lot of people didn't know that. I've seen other reviews of Spaz, and they didn't know that. But, so, basically, I'll type in... Oh yeah, so, actually I need to, so when you hit tweet, this pops up, and you can send the message to either your, your Twitter or your Facebook or both. You just click on them, or undo them, and, yeah, so you can only send one to Facebook if you want, 
And so I'll just say, record in a video. And it'll send. And it won't pop up right away. Actually, it won't pop up at all because TweetDeck doesn't show the tweets you've made. Which I actually like that Twitter clients when they do show what you said. Okay, so now back to Spaz. So here I'll do it. Testing Spaz. And that's what it, I'll say. And it pops up immediately, so it shows my tweets. And then I like it how it says their names small. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to settings for spaz and interface. As you can see, it has a couple themes. I like this one. It's kind of cool if you have leopard or snow leopard or whatever. And then spaz is the normal thing. Not that great, but and then this one is kind of weird. Dumb tomo. White space is kind of cool. And so I'll just go back to Spaz. And there's a bunch of other services, but and um, you can have it minimize the background. Or you can have it so that... Yeah, so if I click away, it'll, um, it'll leave. And so that's Spaz. So there's a bunch of other features, but you can go test them out. I gotta get to Woody.